Hey, today I want to talk to you about 11 tips that will make you a safe driver. 11 tips, safety tips for when you drive. First off, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to it. And if you get some value from it, hit that like button. Let's get into it. Number one, you want to wear your seatbelt. I know you've heard that a thousand times. You've probably heard it all your life. Wear my seatbelt. It's true though. You know, third, you're 30 times more likely to be ejected from your vehicle from not wearing your seatbelt. So put that seatbelt on. You know the saying, click get a ticket. Wear your seatbelt at all times. That's the number one thing you need to do. Number two here, blind spots. There's blind spots on a tractor trailer everywhere. You've got them on both sides, in front of you, behind you. You can't see as good as you're in a car. So make sure you're paying attention to those mirrors. And I want to tell you a secret that I had. It's called the 10 second rule. The 10 second rule, what that means is, it's when you start to change lanes, you want to put the blinker on for three seconds. So you'll go one, two, three. And then the other seven seconds, it should take you to change the lane. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you're always looking in your mirrors and you take that 10 second rule, that will help you as that will make you a safer driver and you'll have a lot less accidents that way. All right, number three, stay alert work zones. Work zones are very dangerous. There's a lot of people that work there. It's somebody's father, there's somebody's son. You don't want to be the one to run over somebody and kill somebody in a construction zone. So all you do is just take your time, slow down. They're out there working, I'm making a living just like you are. I know it's frustrating drivers when you're out there and you're trying to get somewhere, you're trying to get trying to get to their place, but you know, they have the job to do too, and they're out there risking their life to make the road safer and better for you. So make sure that you know you're paying attention to work zones. All right, number four, reduce speeds on curves. Just slow down, drivers. You're coming up to a curve, or you're about to come up to a, a, a steep downgrade, slow down. Slow down on ramps. Make sure that you go slow, drivers, because you don't want to flip your load. Very, so many times I see truck drivers going around a curve way too fast, they lose it or they can't maintain their lane, and that's what happens. Okay, number five, stay in your lane. Okay, try to stay in your lane as much as possible. You gotta think about it. When I swap lanes, is it, is it worth the risk of me switching lanes? So I need to swap lanes. Swap less as possible. Now, sometimes you're gonna have to do virtual traffic and you gotta get around people. That's understandable. But make sure, make sure that when you change your lanes, you're doing it for a reason. Keep both hands on the wheel. And when an animal runs out in front of you, because you will have deer, cats, dogs, you don't want to swerve to miss them. You ever seen that commercial with the two squirrels are slapping each other in? That can happen, driver. So be safe. If you see an animal run out in front of you, I know I probably get some kickback from this, but you don't want to just swerve hit somebody else or God forbid kill somebody. You just don't have to hit the animal. That's just the way it is. All right, number six, scan ahead for 15 seconds ahead. Always be watching ahead for traffic. If you're in the city, look ahead a block. If you're on a highway, we look at at least a quarter mile. A lot of times I'll be driving in a road and I'll start seeing brake lights way up the road. I'll go ahead and know, anticipate it. So I'll slow down and back off of that. That way I ain't got to worry about rear-ending somebody. Be prepared by always watching. Watching for things happening, accidents, especially in the snow and ice. People are going to start swerving. When you see them hitting them, they're hitting black ice. And they're, watch them. Pay attention. Always look ahead. Maintain your distance is number seven. Don't ride on somebody's ass. Just maintain your distance. Stay away from people so when they slam on their brakes or something happens again, you don't run into them. This will make you a safer driver by just keeping your distance so you can anticipate or you can see what might happen with them. Number eight, check your mirrors. You should be looking at your mirrors at least four times a minute. Always checking your mirrors for things around you. If you're not checking your mirrors and you're not watching that trailer, you're not driving safety. I don't know how many times I've said that before, but it's true, so watch your mirrors. Number nine, stay focused on the drive. Too many times we get out here and, you know, I can listen to the radio, I can talk on my uh, Bluetooth phone and still be focused on the drive. Don't be making you a sandwich and reaching out, putting mayonnaise on it, and, uh, messing with your radio, trying to make sure your Bluetooth is connected Make sure your phone's connected to it. These are things you should go ahead and do before you even leave. So once you're on that drive, stay focused. Stay focused on that drive. Number 10, be aware of your trailer. I said it a while ago, but it goes in hand. Be aware of your trailer 24 seven. A lot of accidents happen at the truck stop or when they're making curves, they're not watching their trailer. You know, you'll never run into something 
your trailer will never hit something if you're watching in the mirror. There's been a lot of times where I've misjudged and I'm going into a fuel pump and I had to look back and I'm like, oh crap, the end of my trailer is going to slip that guy's mirror or going to slap that post right there. If you watch, you can see it and you can always back up and get out of it. Okay, number 11. Pay attention to the signs and turns. Whenever you get off at a truck stop, be, pay attention to when you get off of it so you know how to get back on the ramp, which way. A lot of times we forget we get back on the interstate the wrong way. It can be frustrating. But also pay attention to the signs of where you're going. And if you miss your turn, it's okay, drivers. If you miss your turn, don't panic. I've missed my turn a lot of times. But when I miss my turn, you might have to go a mile, two miles, three miles. I used to panic when that first happened, when I first started driving. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. And then try to do a U-turn in the middle of the road. You catch a soft shoulder. You can go off. Then you're out to get a tow truck. Now it's costing you four hours. You're out of company sending some money. You're better off driving an extra hour out of the way to find a safe place to turn than to mess up. So when it happens, don't you ain't the first one to do it. It won't be your first. It probably won't be your last time. It will happen. But if you pay attention, you might not miss your turn. But when you do, make sure you just go to a good place to turn around. So I hope these 11 tips right here helps you out. Use these safety tips when you drive and it'll make you a safe driver. Hey, if you got some value from this, smash that like button and hit subscribe for more Trucking Life with Sean. Let's get it.